Africa is home to landmarks that currently stand the test of time. All the way from the Northern Sahara to the water bodies of Southern Africa, we look at the natural landmarks that make Africa the exotic destination of the world. Anyways, here are landmarks of Africa. Like, subscribe and share to help us. Thanks and enjoy. Let's start with landmarks that are visible from space. Up in the north of Africa, the Sahara Desert is the largest non-polar desert. It covers over 9 million square kilometers, about 30% of Africa, and is home to a plethora of creatures. A surprising note is it will become green in about 15,000 years due to the Earth's moving axis. The countries it covers consist of Mauritania, Western Sahara, Morocco, Algeria, Egypt, Tunisia, Libya, Mali, Niger, Chad, Egypt and Sudan. Other deserts in Africa include the Skeleton Coast, referred to as the Gates of Hell or the Land God Made in Anger, and the Kalahari Desert, the second largest desert in Africa. Moving up to tall spots in Africa, Mount Kilimanjaro is the tallest mountain in Africa and the highest single freestanding mountain in the world. It is located in Tanzania and stands over 19,000 feet. If you love trekking, here's a place for you to climb. However, it can be life-threatening as the summit is high and steep. Another mountain to climb not far or far behind is Mount Kenya, Africa's second highest mountain. A conclusion is if you love rock climbing, East Africa is the place to be. And now we head to the watery side of things. Victoria Falls, located in Zambia, is the world's largest sheet of falling water. If somehow you fell over the edge of the waterfall, you would drop at over 350 feet. For thrill seekers, there's a pool at the edge of the waterfall called the Devil's Pool. This natural pool has a rock wall at the edge that prevents anyone from falling off, making it the most beautiful infinity pool one can ever think of. But if you'd like to visit the tallest waterfall in Africa, the second tallest in the world, visit the Tugela waterfall. Falling at over 3,000 feet, this landmark is not as famous as Victoria Falls, but it is worth a hike. These waterfalls are connected to a river, which are other landmarks on the African continent. Victoria Falls is connected to the Zambezi River, which runs through six countries. It is a source of water for lions, cheetahs, hyenas and other animals throughout the eastern African region and is a tourist destination for those who love to fish. More towards the west, there is the deepest river in the world. The Congo River crosses the equator twice and flows through nine countries. Moving to the west, the Niger River flows through six countries and has a different name by each country. The longest river in Africa and probably the world is the Nile River. This river flows from East to North Africa and is a major water supply for Egypt and Sudan. The Nile River plays a great historical role in the ancient Egyptian civilizations. Lakes, which you can call the smaller brothers to rivers, are vast in Africa. The biggest lake is in East Africa by the name of Lake Victoria. It is part of Africa's Great Lakes with Lake Tanganyika and Lake Malawi. These lakes alone hold so much water and different types of fish on the earth. Lake Chad is another body of water in Central Africa that is relatively shallow and has dried up over the years. We have looked at ecosystems of Africa. Now one of the land areas hosting animals. The Kruger National Park at the south of Africa is seven square miles big and has the big five game. It also has rest camps and a wide variety of vegetation to aid its ecosystem. The Serengeti National Park and Maasai Mara are twin game reserves in East Africa that are world renowned for the heavy population of wild animals. They are a big part of the economy in their respective countries and also have Maasai's living in the reserves. Other landmarks in Africa include Africa's largest canyon, the Fish River Canyon in Namibia which spans over 100 miles. The Avenue of Baobabs, located in Madagascar, is a striking landscape of awkward looking 2,000 year old trees that line a walkway. Back to East Africa, the Ngorongoro Crater is the world's largest inactive volcanic crater which was a volcano that collapsed on itself, leaving a 260 square kilometer crater, which now has wildlife roaming all over it. Moving to the Afar Triangle, the Danakil Depression is the hottest place on Earth year round and one of the lowest places on the planet. The Okavango Delta, located in Botswana, is considered a natural wonder of Africa. It usually has a six foot depth because the river opens up to the savannah instead of an ocean, making it a unique lot of water inland. After seeing all the possible places to visit, have you bought your ticket to Africa yet? There are obviously more and more and more places not mentioned in the video, but we tried to get the best represented areas, though all areas are great. Thanks for watching. Will we see you in the next one?